actually my favorite animal we own. He's chill, he doesn't get on my nerves like everybody else does. <laughs> Say hi. This is the favorite part. Can you hear that? They want to rip my face off. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to my channel. Well, I am currently running late. I'm supposed to wake up at 4. It's 6.30. So right now I'm just packing my clothes. I am all packed. Bye, Kiki. Yeah. I know. I'm oh, sorry. I'm oh, sorry, Ma None of my animals care that I'm leaving. I'm all packed. Let's go. You know, you can come say bye to Mom. Nope, he went outside. All right. Thanks for the love. So much. Is it hard being away from your family? Uh, I mean, yeah, so being away for days and days on end, being away from her, being away from Willie is always super difficult, so I usually can't wait. No, when you come home, it's not, hey, Tad, I'm home. Oh, Gigi B, it's just a miss you so much, and then you <laughs> And then I'm, I'm a lie. No, I'm like, oh, hey, I'm here too. And she's like, oh, hey, Tad. Have you been feeding my cat good? Have you been Have you been doing this and that and the other? I'm like, oh yeah, I've been, I've been good too. <laughs> I do, I miss you when I'm on the road. I mean, I literally will drive from like New York to like Texas. I'll stop by home just to say hi. Did you know? Oh my goodness, I'm being a horrible example because I am running so late. It is now 10 after seven. I got my cup that my customer sent me for my birthday. Go on with life, thrive. Very expensive habit, but it's very healthy for you. To keep me going. Oh, let's go. Warsaw. What is it? War. Whatever. Not. Not right now. Sun is literally kicking my butt. That didn't help. I'm so short. All right. <laughs> Welcome to Alabama. Their roads are terrible. My GPS says that I'm going to be there at 2. So I'm going to say I'm going to be there at 2.30, 2.45. She's going to kill me because I was supposed to be there at 11. Oops! Oh. And you know, it was really not helping. It takes care of animals while you're gone. So Willie takes care of Asha because she hates everybody and... Tat takes care of everybody else. I take care of Kiki. You know, Snipes. You know, he's not the nicest cat in the world. He only likes my mom. So when it's time to feed him, I nearly get attacked every time because he's very <laughs> food aggressive, and I have to talk to him like a baby because that's how she talks to him. So if I pretend I'm her, hey, hey, hey you waiting for some chicken? You want some birdies? I have to talk like Good that. Timing, actually. I'm very proud of myself. Time changes an hour ahead. It's currently 11:30. like anything to eat and that's where I get in trouble is because then I want to get like shitty stuff so let's be good and get banana you probably have to spend more than and then for example I was taking care of Juno the AC went out and I was waiting on the landlord to come and I was explaining to her it's very hot I can't breathe and she was like oh is Juno okay? Like, is he still eating? He's struggling? I'm like, oh yeah, an African cat from the desert, but your daughter in the middle of June in Alabama. It's hot, and he, she's worrying about her cat that is used to these conditions. I was worried about you. No. I was worried about you. You didn't ask, did I need some fans or AC? You said we need to put three fans by the couch, by his cat tree, and one where he I likes swear to I swear I did something for you. <laughs> I, I blew through the phone. <laughs> God, I'm a bad mom. Oh, for a reason, 
So I'm gonna take an hour and a half nap because she asked if I could come a little bit later because her kids just started school, so she has to pick them up. So, <sighs> well, let me just go to sleep because I like to take advantage of every chance that I get to take a nap and I can literally fall asleep anywhere. Broad daylight, like seriously. I can, as I'm going back, I'm falling asleep. <sighs> About 40 minutes away from her, I don't get <laughs> any service. I'm about to pick up all the edibles and I'm so excited. The mountain Bologna. Cruising. I'm going 35. Wham, wham. don't believe when I say she lives in the middle of nowhere. What do you think about them apples? But I'm freaking here! I'm here! Oh, I'm so excited. Kind of lost the groundhogs, but I want to show you guys something cute while we're in search of them. Because we accidentally let them out of the carrier. Oopsie! But they're inside, just hiding somewhere inside. Look, it's a little baby possums. Hi, you baby babies. Goodness, come here. Oh, hi. Oh, so cute. All right, guys, what? I, I know you guys see their at can. I got them all strapped in back there. What a crazy. Right before I got there, she was transferring the, um, which I thought they were beavers, but they're not, they're groundhogs. I misunderstood. I don't know how I did that, but I did. Um, but she was transferring them from one cage to the carrier to take them, and they all escaped. So we were sitting there trying to catch them, and we only got two, so I'm only transferring two, and I thought they were going to be little babies. They're not little babies. So I don't know how much handling we're going to do. I got a tiny little baby squirrel in here. And then I got the little raccoon that has pulled the blankets into the carrier. That's just what they like to do. And I actually put objects on the outside of the carrier to keep them occupied. We have trouble. Trouble, say hi, hi. Say hi. Hi, mommy's. Hi, mommy's. Say hi. Hi, so. Give me hands. Hands. Oh, it's your hands. Hands, hands, hands. I know, yeah. Oh, thanks. <laughs> so, the reason why I'm not going to let this raccoon out, say, is because, say, I was going to get you. See, see, I'm already trying to bite sin. As a smart tootie. As a smart tootie. But what we are going to do is we're going to push everything back and I'm going to block off this carrier so that I can go ahead and clean it out and give this baby some food and walk. What's the craziest off. animal you've owned? Chloe. I swear you taught her how to hate me. No, listen. Chloe. She was jealous. She's jealous because Juno likes me and Juno doesn't like her. So she made it her mission for Chloe to hate me. I didn't. Yes, you did. Chloe is a, oh, was a raccoon, by the way. She was a rescue and we were training her how to fend for herself in the wild and Tell me. I accidentally made her hate everybody but me, kind of like Juno, so. I already hear this baby all wrapped up in here. I gotta do this, let's turn this air off for a second, cause this baby's gotta stay warm. Hi. Hello. I know, look at It's a little baby squirrel. It's sucking. Say, I'm I think I'm hungry. Say, I think I'm hungry. Oh, it's sucking on my finger. Ooh. It is literally trying to suck on everything. All right, let's make you a bubba. So long story short, I was supposed to have more of their groundhogs. Can you hear that? They want to rip my face off. So I am, I had to sign and say that I was not going to take them out of the carrier because they're not sweet. 
And they're not babies either. Can you see them? I want to just touch in you. If you let me touch in you, it'd be sweet. Up. They're hissing and growling. No. You guys actually smell good though. They said no. I'm not going to stress them out. Because that is not what I like to do. So these babies said hell to the no. Go ahead and give the raccoon some water. Because raccoons, if you guys don't know, raccoons don't produce saliva on their own. So they always, always, always have to have water. Very important. Come on. Now I am on my way to Virginia. I have to pick up a Bengal kitty and then I will be on my way to New York. I want waffle fries. <laughs> <laughs> she has been on this waffle fry thing from TikTok forever. She's on animal and old people TikTok. She doesn't get any of the trends. Um, this is an Australian Shepherd. Actually, compared to Chloe, he might be pretty hard. He's bad. He's bad. He's very energetic. It's like there's no way to like get him to stop ever. He's so bad. Nice will keep you warm. Did you keep your warm, little children? Oh, listen to the little noises. Now you're trying to suck on my finger. I tried to give you some yummies, and you didn't even want it. You can't suck on my finger. You see? You don't want it for real. You fit in. Ow. Don't, don't bite me. You have teeth. Oh, you do. You do have teeth in. How'd you bite me? How come you bite me? <laughs> so I kind of like didn't want to just give him Cheerios. I wanted him to have options. So I went to Arby's and I got him a roast beef sandwich with no cheese because he can't have cheese. Then I got him a turkey sandwich turkey with bacon because they love bacon right now he's being a whole butt and then i got him some curly fries options we have to make i can't let him out because these little guys right here don't like him at all they don't like him and then he is a, a butt when i let him out he tries to get into everything huh dude <laughs> Hey, ma'ams, look at all the options here. We got turkey, got roast beef, bacon. I can't let you out because you are a whole stinker and the other babies don't like you very much. He liked it. Who wants to eat Cheerios? Who wants to just eat Cheerios? We got your options and we got you some Arby's. Those are curly fries. What you think? Not the headphones, everything that you're not supposed to have, dude my daughter more than I love Gino. All right guys, so I am pulled over. It's currently midnight. I'm gonna pull over and take like an hour nap. Um, I'm tired. After my hour nap, I have to get up and feed the squirrel. The raccoon is, they're nocturnal, so I'm like, oh, please let me sleep. And then the groundhogs, they seem like they're sleeping too, so. That is what I'm going to do in a very, very bright, lit up parking lot. And there is a lot of people here, but I can literally sleep anywhere. So that is what I'm going to do. And I am going to just pretty much sleep like this. I don't feel like pulling out my little air mattress or anything like that. Don't you guys judge me because I look like a crazy person. I am going to be upset because I am still exhausted. So, they bite. But you notice your poop is tired. You tired? You hungry? You hungry? I swear, I'm getting more milk on this baby's face than I am in his mouth. But, they're so easy to aspirate. So, I'm dripping one at a time. And they, I've been bit. A few times and I know you're like oh my god it's so little but whoa, they can bite 
Okay, so I'm just now having to squirt little driplets. His little tail is wagging. Because he's big butt and he doesn't want to eat for me. So, just yell drip. You don't want to eat for me, see? Because you're not my mom. You're not my mom. Little drip. I get some in there, then none. Wake up. So I put them down inside there. And these are spe specially made. So, and then you just roll them up. And you're not rolling them, like, to squish them. Just to keep them warm. And they can breathe. So these are made for that specifically. Alright, let's get back out on the road. I got, like, I think, like, four and a half hours left. animal you transported a monkey they were terrible guys first of all they could escape from everything they can use their tails so they were sticking out their tails out of the cage and like pulling my hair so i'd be driving and then doing all this because they would have me by my hair one got into my suitcase and got a shaver What's that um they were terrible i was i was so afraid that they were going to be able to get out because they are so smart and they would trick you and make you think that they were like super sweet and you'd get up and be like hey baby and it'd snatch you by your face and yeah so they're they're terrible they that was the hardest animal i had to try 6 a.m and i am five minutes away from dropping off the raccoon so that's super exciting and then so right now i'm in pennsylvania really like riding the borderline of like New York, New Jersey kind of deal. So I'm going to New Jersey, then I'm going to go to New York. So yeah, that is what we're doing. One down, bazillion more to go. So I know you guys heard me that I was supposed to have a bingo cat, but it ended up canceling about an hour before I got there. Skipping that and going on to the next, so at least I get to drop off the raccoon a little bit earlier and all the other animals as well. Really, I look like poop scoop. This is the last time I gotta feed the little squirrel before he gets home. Oh my gosh, this is the cutest thing ever. Here's the hiccups. The little milk face. Oh. Oh, you I got the hiccup no, no, but Okay, I leave you alone. I'm having a really hard time editing these videos. My animal voice is literally starting to drive me crazy. I cannot listen to it, not one more second. Why do I do it? Just hush. Talk like a normal person. It's like when I get an animal in front of me, it just, I can't even watch my videos on TikTok because I'm like, stop, stop, stop it. I can't help it. I'm sorry. I will work on not doing that anymore because I realize how horrible it is. So I got all the animals dropped off. As you can tell, I'm I'm dead. I'm dying. Um, I'm now at New York. I have some cats that came are coming in from Russia. So it is 12:43 in the afternoon, and they land this evening at around six. So I'm gonna go to sleep. At the airport, while well, the cargo facility waiting for the kitties to come in, and I covered up all my windows because I am so tired. Oh, I'm so <laughs> I like want to cry because I'm so tired. So, um, I can sleep for about like five hours. So, 
and I'm little so yes this is where I'm gonna sleep because once again I am too lazy I have like a blow-up bed but I don't want to do that don't want to do that right now I just want to sleep right here right here because I'm gonna I could probably fall asleep like this that's how tired I am yay I'm finally on my way home Thank you, Jesus. I didn't record the last part of my trip because it ended up not going as planned. So I picked up the kitties that came in from Russia and it was just too overwhelming to record. They were sick. So dealing with all of that and then pooping all the time and peeing all the time, I didn't record, but I probably should have, right? That's the whole point. Anyways, I'll do better. Okay, thank you. So, tired. so P.S. guys, so my mom actually does love me. I just wanted to let you know that she's just a crazy cat lady. How do you become an animal transporter? I did two videos down below. I did a part one and a part two, so you guys can go check those out. It is a full tutorial on how to get started, so you guys can go and check out those videos. And thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Love you guys.